welcome back to my channel. Today I am wearing Bellissima by Beltress in the color Mocha with Cream. So let's jump right in and talk about the color. So Mocha with Cream is a dark rooted, as you can see, I consider the root to be, honestly, black. That's what color it looks to me. One thing I don't like about that dark root is I feel like you can see the knots. I don't know how well that's showing in the camera, but to me the knotting is more obvious on this one. And then it gradually goes into a brunette. There's a lot going on with Mocha with Cream. It has a lot of color in it. It's pretty, it, it, it makes it very dynamic. You know, it looks like you have dark hair and you got a lot of highlights put in. I can detect a, a color that's light enough. Every once in a while there's a strand that almost looks like a platinum blonde. It's really a neat dynamic color. So if you like a daring color and you like a lot of contrast from root to end, you know, this would be a great color. I was kind of having a hard time navigating their colors. I think probably for a brunette, I would go next time with them with, a cho with the chocolate with caramel, um, just to try that. So I think it has a little less variation, but I think this is cute. And this is a great summer wig, because like I said, it just looks like you've got highlights and you know, you got your summer hair. And that's when I tend to wear this wig most is in the summer. So really cute little bob cut. The overall length they're saying is eight inches. And then the nape on it is a two inch nape. It's a short bob. It's heat friendly fiber. This is a thing with this particular, I think this was called the cafe line or something for Beltress. And um, all of the wigs are have names that relate to coffee some way, which is makes you feel kind of warm and fuzzy, which I like. Um, but so the, uh, it's heat friendly fiber. And I like the length because it doesn't brush up against fabrics. So the ends on this still look awesome, even though I have had this since last summer. Now, like I said, I tend to only wear this in the warmer months because I just feel like it looks more like summer hair. And I'm gonna go into some things about the cap that also explain another reason why I don't wear it as much. So, I this is supposed to be an average size cap. I have a 21 inch circumference around here and the cap was huge on me. I don't know what the deal was. I've, I've talked to other women online and they've had Beltress wigs and they have a circumference similar to mine and the cap wasn't too big for them. So I don't know if I just got one that was, I mean, I bought it brand new, so it shouldn't have been stretched out or anything. I bought it from a reputable seller. I don't know what the deal was, but um, it wouldn't have been something, I don't think that a seller would have been able to tell if they'd looked in the box, it looked fine. But when I put it on my head, before I altered it, it was slouchy on my head, like a slouchy beanie, you know? I mean, I could feel the wig hanging off the back, the cap hanging off the back of my head. So I had to cinch the um, adjusters up all the way and I had to remove wefts. So I used a video online, I think it was Godiva's Secret Wigs. They had a real, they have a really good cap altering video of how you remove wefts. So I had to remove a triangle of wefts from back here I had to remove wefts from the sides. And then I also had to go in with needle and thread and sew through these lengthwise um, ribbons or whatever um, pieces of the cap and pull that up a little bit, you know, and cinch it up. I just had to cinch the heck out of this wig. And so I have never bought another Beltress because I don't wanna have to alter a cap that much. I don't pay over 250 bucks for a wig to have to alter it that much. So. That's just my opinion and my experience, but I wanna pass that on to you because it was something that happened. So, really cute cut. I love the cut. It's super edgy. That's what I liked about it. Um, it's super cute. I don't have a lot of trouble. It hangs in my face a little bit. You know, it's, I'm always, I'm kind of always pushing it out of the way, but you know, I used to do that with my bio hair when I wore it in a bob anyway, so it, that's not that big of a deal. I'll show you the lace front. So the cap on this, on the inside is black, and I've got this other wig. This is not a Beltress wig, but the cap literally looks just like this one on the inside. Open wefting, got a little place for tees, but this one, it may have a tiny bit. I, I can't feel it in there. Left side mono part and lace front. So the only difference is this one has a darker lace because they put this dark root on it, so it has to have a dark lace. So I'll do a turn and I'll show you. So this is my right-hand side, the back, 
my left hand side and then of course back to the front so super cute little cut i love the way the hair moves as you can see it's really moves like natural hair so i like heat friendly fibers in this length because i don't have to worry about them clumping on the end and i think i'm going to get a lot you know a long-term use out of this and i will continue to wear it um, even though sometimes i have to say it was my most frustrating wig but um, you know, it's a, I got it now. I got it adjusted. So now time to wear it, right? So there's lots of little things you can do with it. Again, it's one of these little short bobs. You can do a cute little, you know, barrette there. Oh, great. That looks really cute. Pull it back with a little claw clip. You know, you could probably maybe get away with a little headband or something. It tucks behind the ears nicely, but another thing I don't like about this cap is these ear tabs to me are really flimsy. They have metal in them, but they barely have any. And so they're kind of, they kind of pull away. And so that's another thing I'm kind of conscious of. So anyway, this is Bellissima by Belle Tress. I hate to have, you know, some negative aspects to her, but that's been my experience with her and I want to be honest with you. So if you like what you see, please like and subscribe below and I'll keep bringing more content. In the meantime, don't forget you're beautiful. Have a great day. Bye.